Hello, this is Mike Lila from Northern Kentucky University, and this is part five of box modeling a jet using uh, 3ds Max for Paper Vision 3D. Uh, we're going to go ahead and build a cop pick right now. So let's go ahead and Control P to uh, Q to get off of that. Control P to move down a little bit. Good, and we're going to work on this cop pick right here. And let's Control R just to move around a little bit and see. We want to model that from here to here. Let's Control R to get back to the top. Kind of got an idea what we're doing. I'm going to go, here's our cut pick right here. We're going to set that up. I'll actually start back here a little bit. I'm going to cut a line across here. So let's get to edge mode, hit 2, and select 2 again. Hit, uh, select 1, and the other, and the other, and the other. And go ahead and hit Control shift f That's my programmed key. That's the connect key. I actually programmed that in through the customized commands. I actually want to pull this vertex up right here. And let me just show you something real quick. Uh, let's hit, uh, first of all, let's pull the whole edge up. So hit W. I'm going to pull that up. And that looks kind of weird. Don't want to do that. Control Z that. Let's pull this vertex up. So let's uh, hit 1 to get into vertex selection mode. Click on that and bring that up. And I don't like the way that's moving. See how that looks kind of weird? So maybe we can do something a little bit with that. So let's Control Z. Let's hit soft selection. So come over here, come over here to the menu, find soft selection. There it is. Here's soft selection and click on use soft selection. Let's dial this up a little bit. And you can see that that's highlighting as I get more and more. Let's go now move that up. You see the whole thing is kind of moving with it, and that's kind of what I want to do. Bring up that cockpit and some points along with it. Let's look at the other point, bring that up a little bit. There we go. Let's look a little bit better. Think a little bit better about myself. Let's grab this point right here. Let's see what happens. You want to move that up. There we go. Control R to move around a little bit. Oh, looking a little bit better. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, work, do a little bit more work here. Click on this right here and let's move this up. W and move that up a little bit more. And let's move this piece up right here. Let's do a little bit more work on this. We're going to bring these up just a little bit more. So let's hit uh, vertex selection. Hit 1. Uh, click on that. There we go. Let's turn on soft selection a little higher. Yeah, let's bring it up. Cool, let's get the other one. And bring it up. And the other one. And bring it up a little bit. Good. Control R. I actually want to cut a line across here and give myself a few more polygons. It says Alt C. Let's cut a line across here. Cool. And right click, get off that Control R to move around. So I have another polygon to work with a little bit here. So let's go ahead and uh, hit uh, Q1. Select that new polygon. And hit W and bring that up a little bit. So it's looking a little bit better. And I actually really need another row of uh, lines and to smooth that out a little bit. But for now, we're just going to be happy with that and move on to building the uh, engine. So let's rotate down here, rotate around. And if you see, there's a whole engine set across here. Let's pan across here and take a look at that. I actually want to build in that engine set across here. So I'm actually rotate. I'm going to pull these sides out a little bit from here. And then I'm going to. Uh, just do a little modeling to bring that into perspective. So let's hit the 4 key to get into polygon mode and let's start selecting some polygons. Let's click here, here, and here. Let's control R to make sure we're in the right place. And I'm not really matching up here. I really need just a little bit more space across. So I'm going to actually go into isolation mode, cut that, pull this out, and um, build out that jet engine. I'm going to control P just a little bit to make sure my back selected this. So I know what to do. Let's go to isolation mode. So let's Alt Q. I'm going to rotate around. Control R. Rotate around. Let's move this out of the way so we can see. Let's zoom in a little bit. Alt Z. Zoom in. Let's go ahead and cut a line across right here because I need a little bit more room for that engine. So let's go ahead and uh, Alt C to cut a line. 
and slice and slice that's good now I can actually right click and build that engine that's a uh, control uh, a click to get the rest of that and now we're going to extrude that so control R to rotate around let's P to uh, control P to move that just a little bit okay and let's hit my extrude command uh, shift E and let's extrude that down a little bit there we go got a nice little engine there control R I actually need another line okay so let's go ahead and move that in position use control P just so we in the screen so we can see it and I'm concerned about this middle piece right here so let's go ahead and alt C to move back just a little bit control P to move it into the screen so you, so you can see it alright and let's cut our line so we can go to edge mode go to 2 and let's just start clicking on some edges I'm going to alt shift F there you go connect that line and then I'm going to actually pull that line down so we're going to control R to just rotate a little bit uh, we're going to keep soft selection mode on and we're going to actually hit the W key and we're going to pull down there you go uh, that's pretty good and control R to rotate around looking pretty good this back side of course is out a little bit so I'm going to go to 1 to get into vertex mode I'm going to select this side let's make sure the square marquee is selected control click this side great and we're just going to push that up and I can't quite see what I'm doing here so it's uh, control P to pan down so you can see my uh, gizmos there so let's hit uh, R to get those excuse me W get those gizmos back and let's move all that up up oh, wrong thing selected here let's take off soft selection here cool there we go now let's move that up uh, missing one vertex that's control and let's mark here around that last vertex all right let's mark here around that got it now let's move all that up good exactly what I want to do and let's uh, mark here around that last one let's move that up a little bit as well good now why I'm on the back side here let's go ahead and just build the engines out okay so what I want to do is split across here and I want it to do it uniformly so I'm select these edges so go to 2 to get to edge mode click one click the other let's go ahead and um, control shift F so I've got a straight line here I want to modify this plane a little bit from the drawing I'm actually gonna put two engines here so let's put four and uh, to get into polygon selection mode click one click the other so at this point I actually want to inset this and then extrude or bevel it and I have an issue right here because if I hit the inset command, let's go over here and uh, click inset. You see it inset the whole thing, and I just want to inset it separately by polygon. So I hit by polygon, and when I do that, I have this nice little uh, inset here that looks pretty good. I uh, want to just uh, change those parameters a little bit, and that's pretty good. Hit OK. Now I want to, in a sense, uh, bevel those. So let's uh, Control Shift B, and we can actually bevel those in or out. We're going to out and then kind of bring those in a little bit and there's uh, my engines and we're going to bevel those in now so bevel again in and in. There you go and there's my engines pretty good and uh, I deviated from the drawing just a little bit because I just uh, took a little bit of artistic uh, leeway there and I actually like the way that looks a lot with the double engines. Let's come around here and finish up the uh, the uh, front side of that engine so let's go ahead and control P to get the pan over there 